Thank you. The latest book is not a cookbook. No. Explain what Point of View is. You know, it's what, so I love doing Deliciously G Free. I had a ball doing that because it was like our family recipes and how do I eat cheerfully and make my, right. you know, historic family recipes come to life without gluten. Love that. This one, it was, it was weird, Rachel, because I'm like, I usually write about my gut and gluten. Mm. And this one is more, I think, having stepped out of the fast pace that I was keeping, be it Survivor or The View for 10 years, and then Fox News, when I finally, like, just kind of stumbled out of that um, due to, like, failing my um, own management of time, um, I had time to be quiet. And so this just was a great opportunity through point of view to kind of look back at the behind the lenses of the point of view of some great teachers in my life, mm. how they thought about things, what they taught me, ultimately like how to see myself a little bit differently. Looking back on even my, you know, trying to get on Survivor, what that looked like, what I learned there, what it looked like to be on The View for 10 years under Barbara Walters, like really looked like a decade's a long time. You know how it is when you're saying things, sometimes you get things wrong or sometimes you take like maybe a little, the crank on intensity goes up when yeah. you're trying to hold your position. And what I really found that when I wasn't at the table trying to debate for 10 years, trying to deliver news perfectly right, I was like a rightaholic. All that time when I finally took a minute to just two years, step back, take a breath, I thought, wow, what would it look like if we can have conversations about really tough things but not, dis, like, not have disdain? Right. Have a debate without hate. Well, I think everyone's discussing that concept now for obvious reasons. Yeah. It's the state of the nation right yeah. now. Yeah, and I was there. Like, I know what it feels like to look across at someone and disagree with them on different things, but I really believe with all my heart that we can, by as we're constitutionally protected, to hold the liberty of our religion, to hold the liberty of our po politics, but not let go of our friends' hands. And I think Whoopi and I... I mean, I'm so blessed to have that example of friendship because we don't always see eye to eye on things no, that haven't. Yeah. We've had hot debates about topics you're not supposed to touch. Right. Yet we have a friendship over decades. That survives that. And we love each other. Yeah. You know, we don't think the same, but we love the same. And so that's what really what this book is about. Like, I'm not here to teach anybody anything. My heart changed in writing this book. The first thing I said when I started really? writing this book you was... You that much about yourself. Oh. I have never slowed down enough to think that much about my past teachers and all that I've learned. And this right here, the first thing I said was, I'll write the book. Fine, God. You want me to write a book about all this stuff? Fine. But I'm not going to The View to talk about it. Oh. I do a line in the sand. I'll go any place yeah. but there. And what happened in the process of writing and having gratitude looking back was that he really changed my heart where I was like, I, I went for a run one day and I came back and I'm, all I could think of was, I want to go back there. Wow. I want to go back to that table. It I brought want to you hug to my a different friends. place emotionally. It did. Yeah. I needed it.